Hola amigos, hola amigas, Dorian here from Hooverlux. Welcome, bienvenido, croissui, assalamu alaikum. So today, oh I got a greasy head. We are in Pennsylvania and near Lake Erie and we just happened to notice that there was a vacuum store on Google nearby so we decided to uh, drive on down and have a look. So I've been into the store and I explained to the lady about the channel and what I do and everything and Look at that, there's a Dyson on the roof and an old Hoover. This store is amazing. I have, oh, I, I'll take you around because you've got to see it to believe it. So I'm gonna take you inside and we'll do a bit of a tour, all right? So this is the vacuum cleaner center and they also do sewing machine services as well. So this is just a very quick outside of the store. Okay, so we've just come into the store and as you can see they've got lots of lovely new vacuums but look what's behind me up on the shelves. An array of all types of antique vacuums and there's some up there and there's also some over on the other side. I'll turn you around. So let's have a look at the old ones first. Well, it's yet to be a... Um, antique but <laughs> I can see that next to it there is a hoover I'm gonna lift this up some of these I've never even seen these vacuum cleaners before it's a junior and look at that one that's like the Vax Air Revolve another old suitcasey type of vacuum little General Electric one and my favorite of all the Hoover portable my dream vacuum cleaner to own and we got some other old ones General Electric I've never even heard of that one before a Connie lovely orange Connie Another Hoover. Ah, and the lady's brought me a stepladder. Uh, let's have a look up here. Look at this, I'm on the stepladder now. Look at that. I can get a closer look. This store is amazing. Oh, look at her. I got one of them. Hoover Vaquette. We got some more. Let's take the step ladder over. Reposition ourselves. Ah, the floor scrubber. Another old Hoover. Electrolux. Some old products as well. Let's have a look at these. That's a Hoover there as well, some more handheld ones. Look at that, that is so cool. Don't know if we ever had that in the UK. Okay, so let's sum up the top up there. Now let's go over here. And take a look at these. GE Deluxe Premier. Does look like an old Hoover. Ah, it's a 1907 Royale. Royal right there. Okay, yeah. So what year, what year is that from? 1907. 19, that is a 1907 Royale. <laughs> wow. Hoover Senior. Oh, Kirby, two more, uh, two more Hoover Seniors here. We've got this beautiful Royal back in the day when vacuum cleaners were vacuum cleaners. And this one, this is a Kenmore, but it's on a trolley. Looks like an oxygen tank. Absolutely amazing. 
So those are some of the old ones, and we've still got this. They've got all the new ones as well. They've got the Auric. Lots of Hoovers. That's the Hoover with the sensors on it, the wind tunnel, to tell you when there's picking up dirt or where the area is clean. And some more Hoovers here, wind tunnel. And the wide path tempo, now that has got a big width on it, and also this one as well, this wind tunnel. Hoover, wide path tempo, 12 amp motor. I do like the colour of that Dyson, I have to say. And some stick bags. And a sanitaire. Hmm. That's cool. Okay, let's carry on. I'm going to take you over to the other side of the store. So these are another thing I really like as well, which I haven't seen in the UK, is the Hoover version of the carpet shampoos. These look really good because they've got the roller bar and also the um, rotating brushes as well. So I wonder if these are manufactured as another name in the UK, possibly. Because obviously Hoover Candy. But I do like those. I've seen them demoed on someone's channel. They, they look really good. This is a nice one. This is a little one. Panasonic. These are nice Panasonics. Optiflow, 12 amp clean edge. Very, very light. On and off button there. Pull away hose. Quick pickup. Let's have a look at the bag. Very nice type 14 bag, pepper. With a filter behind it. <laughs> professional grade so this one's from 1895 and my oh, other half is there. demoing it this one here go on Scott it's like a it's like a agricultural the home vacuum cleaner Wow. So there's a, there's a lot of these. Pick up much or? No. There's a lot of these that I don't recognise. <laughs> I can see the resemblance to a fire hydrant. Yeah. <laughs> that is a singer. Wow. I've never seen a single um, vacuum cleaner before. That's very cool. Thank you. <laughs> and there's. Yeah, yeah. That is a Hoover Celebrity, the deluxe one, awesome. with a power head as well. Thank you for indulging me. <laughs> okay. okay, so we are back to looking at these. And this fetching lady who's guarding the vacuum cleaners. So you saw that one just being demonstrated by the the suffering other half. And there's some more early ones. Huh? Ah, oh, she's Nana Hoover. So up here we've got more. Ah, oh, another portable. Electrolux, this is some Electrolexes here. This is the attachment for putting on your hair to dry your hair. 
So this is a filter queen hair dryer. So you attach this onto your filter, you know, onto the end of your filter queen, put it on your hair, and then you can dry your hair via the vacuum cleaner on the blow with the warm air. Who? <laughs> Who was the last person? <laughs> yeah, Scott was the last person to use it, and look what happened. Yeah. So anyway, so we're back here. This one is a rainbow. Made in Cadillac, Michigan. With its attachments. This is another rainbow. <laughs> another portable. I've never seen so many portables in one area. This one is a metro it's a little handheld mains operated vacuum cleaner these wonderful hoover connies and this one here there's some there's a singer one there and the premier handheld there's another con uh, another connie here but this is the one with the slant forward which is like one of the very very early ones i think with a slant forward in a nice mustard yellow. Got another handheld here, an old one. This is another Electrolux with a cord in the side. I wish I knew more about these. Here we have. An Avalon. What make is this? Okay, that's an Avalon. It looks like an Electrolux. This is the Admiral. This one. So I'm just looking at the top and I can see another portable <laughs> right at the very top. And floor scrubbers. So this place is basically an Aladdin's cave of old vacuums. It's absolutely incredible. Look at it. Brilliant. So let me turn you around. And we got some more vacuums, the ones we just saw with the Hoover Nana just there. So there we go at the top, those are the there's two electrolux on the other side of the top side of the Hoover Portable. Now we've got some of these more modern ones, which are the Seabos. I do like these, they're very much like the um oh, what was that other brand the one I had that I did? I can't remember now. It's just it looks like a Seabo. This one is slightly different. The Seabo 370 Comfort, because it's got the on and off switch there and a and a and a bag full indicator light but the bag is the same as the standard one there's a filter there at the bottom so instead of the filter at the side it's got these filters at the bottom and if I take this off it's got a filter there a sponge filter there for I believe for the exhaust Okay, so the lady has kindly said that I can have a go 
at this vessel. So this is made of wood. Vessel, Kentwood, discomatic brush action, ball bearing, self cleaning brush. And if I just flip it over, there's the brush. And the container goes in there, the dirt goes in there. So, made of wood, let's give it a push along. Okay, so let's see, um, I'm going to try uh, one of the other ones. Okay, so now this one I've got is the Bissell Grand Rapids from what I can see here. So they've all got these fancy schmancy words on it for what they can do. So I'm going to put this on the floor and we'll have a go with this one. Okay, I think we'll put this one away now and I'm going to see if I can get one which is plugged in and we'll have a go with that. Okay, I'm back at these ones at the front because these are really in. Okay, so we got two more of those commercial sanitaires which I do think work very very well indeed here's another sanitaire now this one is something I've never seen before is a cirrus now, it looks quite striking it's got a lovely big power nozzle on it on and off switch Got a foot release pedal. I oh, know that's for the height adjustment. Okay. So it's got a power head on it, which, as you know, is very rare in the UK to so have any new vacuums of any description with a power head on, unfortunately. So if I just disconnect the Okay, so this is an Intertech. It's made in China, it's got four casters on it. 
so it can move in any direction and makes it a lot easier. Got the bag that holds up there. It's quite a big size bag on it, I have to say. Nice fleecy bag. And just folds in, pulls it down. Here you've got where the tools are kept. So you have a dusting brush and a short crevice tool. So looking at this, we've got a power cord. I wonder if it's got a soft rewind. Switch here, exhaust filter here, which is a HEPA filter. There we go, there's the HEPA filter. You've got the different power settings, just similar to a Mila minimum and maximum. Curtains, upholstery, rugs, carpets, and hard floor for maximum. So, this is very nice. So I think what we can do is possibly plug it in and give it a little demo. But before that, let's take a look at the power head. So this power nozzle, which I've just taken off from the handle, it has got the on and off switch here. And it's got the height adjuster there. Which goes up to up and then back down. Overload protector reset so if you get something stuck in it. We'll push that button and it'll reset to make the brush roll go. So turn it around, that's the pedal release. There's a little port here for inspecting for any blockages, and here is the brush roll. Now the brushes are very, very stiff on it, nice stiff brushes. So let me get the nozzle back in, there we go, and then I can pull up the handle, hang on, and then you can pull up the handle on that, and then plug this back in and let's give it a go. So there's some customers in the store at the moment, so I'm just sitting down and behind me are these amazing vacuums that I've shown you. I quite like that old singer. I'm not rude, I won't answer anything. You can. No, the General Electric. The doggy or anyway probably telling me. Hey, Look at that, there's a Hoover over there. That's pretty cool. Let's take a look at the um, let's take a look at the old Hoover. Okay, so this is the Hoover Decade 80 with edge cleaning and it's also got boasting edge light so the light comes out from the side here so it looks very much like the Hoover Senior with this part it's got a foot pedal release there and a height adjustment display so shag, high, normal, and low. It's got that kind of like vinyl bag on it. If I unzip it, there's the filler tube. On a 
what you call it, my mind's gone. Filling it up. It's in very clean condition, it's in very good condition for its age. On the top, we've got the air freshener. Minimum, maximum, so we must put the air freshener in there. Must be yeah, inside. Zip this back up. So it's got the on and off switch on the top here. Cord. And if I just press this pedal to release the handle. So again, very much like the Hoover Senior, you just push this across to remove the, um, oh, I've forgotten what it's called now. That, my mind's gone. The vacuum cleaner overload. Okay, underneath it, yeah. So this is the Hoover Cleaner model U4381-030. Six amps, which is kind of low. I'm not really sure what the amperage is difference now. Same kind of thing with the belt, like the Hoover Senior. Remove these. And there's the belt. Nice metal brush roll. Nice stiff bristles on it. So I'm gonna close this back down. Make sure that's on the it's on the hook. So I'm surprised that we never had this model in the UK because it's very much like a more modern, up-to-date version of the Hoover Senior. So if I just push it down onto the floor, it's in a nice fetching green colour as well. And there we go. Very, very nice. Hoover Decade 18. Right, okay, so, um, the customers have now gone, <laughs> so I can have a go with this, which is the Cirrus, so they're made in Malaysia, I think, let's have a look at the bottom, I'm just going to pull out the plug, the cable, it's got a nice long cord on it. There we go. Two markers, red and yellow. Push it back a bit. There we go. So I'm just going to go plug this in. Oops. And we're on. Okay, so. Come a bit closer. So we can see here on the controls. If I switch it on. That's the minimum setting. That really is minimum. Okay, so that's got it really good. So let me plug in the power head like this and switch it on. So the other thing this has on it as well is the dirt sensor. So the green light's on and then the red light will pop on when it's sensed it's picked up some dirt. So what I'll do is switch it on and push it around and see if we can see it changing. 
Okay, we'll switch it on again, gently. And you can see that change, right? So the brush, the power head on is very good. The, the brush stroke pulls the pulls the power head along. It's 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 very powerful. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a see what it looks like. Oh, I turn the power down you still get the full power from the head even though you can turn the suction down for rugs okay we just turn this off so there we go this is the cirrus with the power head and what did i say it's made in china it's very much like a mila it moves around like a mila that's very good. So what we'll actually do now is we'll unplug it and we'll see how the cord rewind is. So you have to hold it to uh, rewind it. Okay, so the other Cirrus I'm going to look at as well, there's two different types here. There's this one, which is for carpets, and this one, which has a belt lifter, very much like a Panasonic. It's very Panasonic-esque, um, so you can turn the carpet, the brush roll on and off. So this is the one we're going to have a look at next. So this is the Cirrus Professional Grade in a lovely dark kind of... Um, green colour. Can't remember what they call that green. It's like Land Rovers. Call it Land Rover Green. So we pull it out the front, it's got the bag inside. Bag door comes off. So it's got its own fleecy type bag with a filter at the bottom there. Sealed suction around the edge. Put the lid back on at the front. Turn it around, we've got the tools attached to it, which is very good. So you've got your upholstery tool, little crevice tool, and these all fit in very neat with these um, brackets as well, so they're not going to come out. And this little dusting brush, and then you've also got this extension, this wand, which I think is a wand in a wand, I can't, no it's not, it's just on its own, that fits in there, and it's got its filter on the side, that is the release, carpet and floor, and the on and off switch is at the top, there. So what we'll do is we'll unwind this, it's got a cord release there, we'll unwind the cord, comes all off in one go, 
and we'll go and plug it in and there's a little cord hook thing here on top so you can keep the cord on so we just get this plugged in okay so what we'll do now is just pull back and switch it on Okay, so this is very, very similar to a Panasonic. So we've got the tools here that we can pull out. So if you just pull out the top there, not a very super long flexible hose, but enough for you to do some dusting. And you've got your extension wand here. Which extends out, which is all made of metal. So you can reach up and do your dusting on your top shelf. Just release this. Down there. Now this is where the dirt comes in through this. Okay. And then I'm gonna have to put that back in. There we go. That clips over <laughs> on the front jigsaw puzzle and then that fits on to there it fits on okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold you while I give it a little push around okay so let's switch it on at the top <laughs> that's one thing that's very good for this because I've gone from a short pile carpet to a more shaggy pile carpet and it just moved over it with no problems whatsoever. <laughs> trolley demo in that so yes I really like this I've never heard of this brand before um, but it does very much remind me of a Panasonic and yeah I quite like this one to be honest I think it's done a good job I quite like it
So there we go, that wraps up the video. It's okay, I'm facing this way. <laughs> it's not a customer, it's my friend. Uh, that wraps up the video for today in this amazing store. I will put links down below for you to go and have a look at it online. It's been wonderful to see all the old vacuums as well as the new ones and have a go at some of the ones I've never tried before. The ladies who work here are absolutely amazing. They are so helpful, absolutely, truly wonderful. I would gonna put the link below to the store and I say you should come to Pennsylvania just to come to this vacuum store, honestly. It is wonderful, some of the items that they have here. Uh, so there we go, thank you very much for watching. Please comment, like and subscribe. I'll see you all in the next video and howdy y'all.